Hi, I'm Jan Turkle, and today we're visiting a little bit about eyes. The typical concerns that lead people to come in and talk about their eyes is usually increasing laxity in the upper lid or bulging little fat pads in the lower lid. Uh, sometimes the brows uh, start to kind of fall and all of those things uh, have a solution, uh, many of which are surgical. Trying to decide between surgical and non-surgical procedures for the eye area oftentimes just depends on what your issues are. Uh, clearly, if there's a lot of excess or redundant skin or brows that are what we call totic, probably in most cases it's a surgical option, but you know, depending if those are minimal, uh, some of the non-surgical options are awesome. Non-surgical treatment around the eye area uh, can vary a great deal. Um, sometimes something as simple as a little Botox to either smooth out the crow's feet or placed properly can raise the brow a little bit. Um, we also, on the aesthetic side of the practice, have uh, some tools that um, by tightening the skin on the forehead with for something like Althera, may help elevate a brow. Uh, some of the other lasers that we have uh, will actually help minimize some of the lines. So lots of non-invasive or lesser invasive options for improving the appearance around the eyes. When we're looking at the eye, um, one of the questions I always ask is, can you point to what you don't like? Because if people point to this area right here, they're probably asking me for an eyelid surgery or what we call a blepharoplasty. If on the other hand, they're kind of grabbing out here and saying, oh, this is bothering me, they're probably needing their brow lift. And so I think being able to try to hash out that um, with each patient, because some people clearly could use one or the other, other people could use both. And sometimes just working through that process and trying to make sure that we're doing the right surgery for the right problem based on that patient's concerns. Well, on the upper eyelid surgery, um, the incision is right here in the natural lid crease. And so those tend to blend in very well, very difficult to see in a few months. and. Even if you're closing your eyes saying it's right here, most of the time it really fades. On the lower lid, there's usually a little line of suture right under the lashes and those tend to blend in pretty quickly too. Uh, every once in a while, if you have somebody that it's just all a little fat pad with no skin redundancy, you can do that actually from the inside with no visible scar. With any eye surgery, um, there's always the potential for bruising and swelling, um, and certainly sometimes a little bit of irritation or dryness. But surprisingly, especially with the eyelid surgery specifically, most people take virtually no pain meds. And if it wasn't for the surgical appearance, uh, most of them probably would be out and about the next day or two. If you have any further questions about surgery around the eye or the brow, feel free to call us.